Hello and welcome back to the channel and my playthrough of Monster Hunter World board game. Today we are doing the five star investig the five star arena quest for the Tarastra. Uh, considering I almost lost against the Kula Yaku, I get the feeling these next three, the Tarastra, the Kushla Deora, and the Nergigante, are all gonna kill me. But hey, we're gonna give it the old college try. This thing has a whole pl this thing has its own special rule book. Like, okay. So, let's get right into the introductions. We will be doing the dual blades and the charge blades today. And dual blades, uh, the starting equipment is uh, the Kaiser Crown, two defense, one fire resist. If this hunter suffered damage during the monster's last turn, draw plus one damage core for the first attack cord you play. This turn, which inflicts damage. The Rathalos Mail, once per, one armor, one fire resist. Once per quest, this player may swap their hunter token for another player. The face of the hunter token each player now has should match the face of the previous token. And the Rathalos Greaves, one armor, one fire resistance. This hunter can suffer the sleep status ailment. And he is rocking the fire and ice dual blades. It's got some ice damage cords in there which is very good because this thing is weak to ice and we're also rocking the charge blade oh also the dual blades palico is the vigor wall spray uh charge blade he's got the full kaiser set the crown same as the one for the dual blades the male one defense two fire resist uh once per quest when this hunter plays an attack cord shuffle any damage you draw into your damage deck instead of discarding them that's nice if we get a very big combo and kaiser greaves two defense one fire resist when this hunter plays an attack cord with a combo of two or more you draw plus one damage cord very nice and this uh hunter's palico is the element cure which is not the best although it does play it is going to put Blast Blight on pretty much everybody. But it is what we get. And the big bad himself, the Terra Straw. Okay, set up. Before creating the Mosh Behavior deck in the Gathering Phase, remove the Supernova Behavior Cord and place it face up next to the Terra Physiology Cord. Gather the 12 Black Scale Dust Tokens and place them to the side of the player. That's these things right here. Rules. While... When Tarastra moves onto a node, place one black scale dust token onto that node. Black scale dust tokens can't be placed on a node already contained in black scale dust token. If all 12 black scale dust tokens have been placed, do not place any additional tokens. The effect. When Tarastra performs a fire behavior cord, that behavior gains plus 2 damage against hunters positioned on a node with a black scale dust token. Black scale dust tokens do not affect the movement of Tarasha or the hunters. Supernova. If all black scale dust tokens are gathered on the game board when Tarasha begins its turn, resolve the supernova behavior cord instead of drawing a behavior cord. After resolving the supernova cord, remove all black scale dust tokens from the board. Don't discard supernova and place instead place supernova face up next to just Tarasha's physiology cord. Supernova may need to be resolved multiple times during the hunt. God, I hope not. And Wreath of Flame. When a hunter ends their turn on a note adjacent to Rostra, the hunter suffers Blast Blight, which is uh, the hunter has minus one armor until the minus two armor until the end of the next turn. And look at it, its thing. Volcanic Presence. All its behaviors have gained plus one damage. That's nice. And again, and this just reiterates um, the things in the thing. And it's break tokens. Its head has four armor, seven break. When we break it, remove up to four blast scale dust tokens from the game board. Its tail, five armor, eight break. Behaviors of the tail have minus one range. And the wings, five armor, eight break. Remove claw swipe from the behavior deck. Shuffle discarded behavior cards into the deck. Okay. I do not have high hopes for this. <laughs> but we're going to try. Let's draw our opening hands. Shuffle, shuffle. 
Don't even get a thing. An ice cord. We do get blast right place. I mean, this thing's immune to blast right, so at least it gets three cords, I guess. Anyway, can we get some stuns with the charge blade? Hey, we can stun it the first turn if we're very, very lucky. No, we can't because they're both combos. Shoot. Oh, well. I mean, unless we get a three. Oh, and there's the supernova cord. I'm sure we're going to see it, but... Uh, range three, targeting the furthest. In every node, ten fire damage, five evade, then three hunters get two activations each. Yeah, this is not going to be fun. Shuffle, and let's see what we get. Targeting the closest in the tail, which is... Which are my tokens? Okay, dual blade is the eight. So dual blade is probably going to take the damage. One, two. Yeah. Because the diagonals, it is the closest. Oh. Okay, that's fine. It completely whiffs first. Because that's too far away. And, that's too, and then it moves three back, which means it just goes in the corner. Okay, that's that's fine. Next, one hunter gets three cards, but its next attack is targeting the furthest. And I wonder if it's worth it to just just make it try to whiff an attack. I mean, that's probably just what we're going to do. One, two, three. It's probably not going to work, but we're going to try to do it anyway. Okay. We're just going to put the dual blades in the corner. Hope nothing bad happens. Let's get rid of this, shall we? I think I can get rid of that, too. Uh, that's not the best. Anyway, time cord. Did I shuffle? Shuffle just to be sure. All players place their threat to the left. That's fine. And monster activation. Targeting the furthest. Oh, now it's the charge blade because he's still four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, -ya. It's fine, maybe. So, targeting the charge blade. Off to a rollicking good start. Three away. I mean, that's a whiff, but it, it keeps moving further and further away. At least it keeps trying to. Uh, three hunters get three cards, starting with the charge blade. Also, I should have placed down a black scale dust token. That's what it moves into, right? Yeah. Okay. Three activations starting with the charge blade. He's going to move up for one. Then he's going to... I guess discard this um, to move up again. Then, three cards, three cards. I guess we're going to do a forward slash, which puts us onto the node, the rock. And when we get into the rock, we can move one again. They're going to suffer blast bite all the way to hell. Okay, and we get one card. For It's going to be one point of damage, yeah. And our third card, uh, we're going to try to stun it a bit. It does have stun, so that's good. And that was... Oh, it has three cards, huh? I could actually stun it this round. I mean, might as well. So, the thing is... 
Draw one for everything on the face up attack cards. So that's one, two, three, four attack cards. Five because of the grease. Okay, so this is defense of four. Hi, yeah. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Hey, it's under a hundred. And we're going to use our set bonus to just shuffle all these back in the deck instead of discording them. And because we did that, we can discard the rightmost one of these, which is good. Then we put two breaks on the head. Okay, and that is that. Then we can discard. Okay, both the stuns are in the deck. That's nice. And draw five. Okay. And we ended our turn next to it, so we get a Blast Blight. Okay, that is that. Now we both get an activation. It's targeting the closest again. Um, oh, Time Court. That might be nice. I swear to God, if I fall asleep on the first activation... I fell asleep on the first activation. I knew I should have done my Palico. <sighs> okay, now we both get an activation. Because that was just one. I, I guess we're doing... I guess we're doing the charge blade first, just to get him out the way. What's he going to do? Nothing. So this will get discarded. What do I want to discard here? That's a three combo. That's going to be a while. Maybe. This one doesn't even have a charge thing on it. That's two. Do I keep this? Mm, we're not. This is going to be so hard to combo this, we're going to get rid of that too. And we get it right back, but we do get into stun. And time court. Okay, that's fine. You know what the problem was? The problem was I did not pet the poogie. Where is the poogie? Here it is. Hi poogie, you so cute. Pet, 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 pet. Okay, we paired the Poogie. Now, we are definitely going to roll low for this, so the Hunter can suffer 5 damage. Which we desperately need for a monster that has 110 health. Hello? Did I lock this one? I must have, okay. Okay, roll low. That was not low. Hunter suffers 2 damage, okay. That's fine. Well, this gets removed. I mean, technically, we. Um. I guess he would have moved one back just so he wouldn't get the blast blight again. Okay. And now it is a charge blade turn. Let's go. Um, he's gonna move up for one. He needs to get in for three. He can't do it and still do the demon mode. We're going to get rid of a Blade Wrath to get two up. One, two. And hope that's four. Not, he's, he's stunned this turn, so it's probably fine. Uh, and... Yeah, we would put down the thing. We would discard it. We can discard. I, I don't want to do have both demon modes in my hand because then that's less card for me to play for the attack. And I kind of want... Okay, we're just going to do like that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That was that. 
time cord. Discord for time cords. Oh, we're off to a rollicking good start. And each hunter may sharpen. Oh, so I used my Kaiser mail for nothing. Oh, Lord, I love this game. Anyway, uh, monster activation, targeting the closest, which is... Actually, the charge... Oh, it's still the charge blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a dual blade for a second. Anyway, let's see. Not that. This one. It misses the dual blade. However, the charge blade is still in that arc. Okay, so he takes eight damage and a f not a one dodge. We're definitely gonna dodge that. Put that there. You are getting a little stamina there. And then two hunters get two cards. Oh, it moves two to the left. It orients to you and then goes one two to the left, which it can't, so it's fine. Okay, so now anybody can go and play two cards. Um, I guess we'll let the dual blades go first. I don't like how this is. Yeah, only get two, one core basically because of this thing. That. If this attack cord is placed on the fifth slot of your stamina board, you may return this cord to your hand. That's nice. But then I'll have then I'll be having five stamina the entire time. I think we're just gonna do the blast wrath. We don't have the blast lip light, but it's still five cards, which Against four armor should be fun. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, not to knock. I'm not going to say anything. I am not going to say anything. Discord this. Uh, I'll draw two. Keep that in hand. Get another faint. Okay, and a time cord. Roll a thing. Oh, you have Blast Blight now because you ended naked turn next to him. One. Place one break token on the monster's body port of your choice. What do we care about the most? Probably the wings just so we can remove a card. And next activation is going to go to the charge blade. Everybody was even. So. Uh, we get two cards. We could prep another stun. We're going to do it. We'll move up for one. And then two cards. Which is... We didn't suffer damage during the monster's turn. We suffered damage to our turn, so that does not activate. Okay, so that's two points of damage. Actually, just shocked I did more than one there, so that's fine. And second cord is going to be to prep a stun for one point of damage. Hey. Okay, we discard this. We can get a pretty decent... I think we need to get ready to dodge. We're going to discard our whole hand. And besides, we really need to cycle those stuns. We get the second stun. It's nice. And time cord. Up to 200 and we each move one node each. 
Okay. I mean, we'll just both move back. That seems fine. And monster activation. Head targeting the closest, which is the charge blade, which is right in front of him. Four towards it. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, the the dual blades is still out of range, and we get a whole mess of these tokens. Okay, and the charge blade has to deal with um, nine damage. Wasn't there something? No, that's only if I'm in a noob with that, so yeah. So that's 9 damage, 5 dodge. 9 fire damage. 8, 7, 6, 5. I would be down to 1. I mean, I can just use a potion. So that's, yeah, that's fine. We're going to take that. Down to 1. And 1 hunter gets 3 cards. It can be anybody. Um... We could stun. Stunning seems really good. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we're gonna stun it. Okay, so first I get two cards, right? Three. That one. For one. For one. Then this one for two. However, we get a stun. Next one is stun, so. A lot less dangerous now. Oh, we get, for the first card, we would have gotten one extra one. So this one should have been added to it. It still only did one. This one did two. For three damage. Okay. And we're not going to do anything because we can't. Discard that. We're going to just discard our entire hand and try to get those stuns back in the deck. Which they... Ooh. Oh, double stun. That's so good. Unfortunately, I can't play them both. Okay. Oh, wait. I can because this is a discharge. Okay. Okay. I'm not, because I'm going to have to use my turn to dodge next round. Okay, I mean, unless we get really lucky. It's targeting the furthest, so it's not targeting the charge blade. Let's see. Three towards it. Yeah, he got lucky with that. One. Two. Three. I guess. That was one, two. Oh, he's gonna go Nova, isn't he? Okay, so, um, this is only a one dodge, so we're definitely gonna just dodge it. Like that. We can't get that to the fifth slot, unless, Two hunters get two cords. If I do it like that, I still can't get it because I don't have enough cords. That's annoying. I might have to forgo put, put, just trying to cycle this back to my... It's probably a bad idea to try to keep that in my hand. Yeah, okay, that. One dodge. And two hunters get two activations, which can be anybody because we're at the top of the initiative. Uh, first, we're going to let the charge blade go. I think he should have a blast blade. You're going to disregard this at the end of your turn, so it's at the start of your turn, so that's fine. So, well, you're going to get rid of this now anyway. Okay, so you have to take a potion. Who's he attacking next? The closest. Which would be the charge blade if he gets in, which he can't really. So yeah, we're just going to give you a potion.
Yeet. And what are we, we're keeping everything. That's not a, that's a stun. Okay, we can also move up at least one, which we will. And then the charge blade, dual blades, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to bladed fangs for two. So that's, come on, legs bite two for one point of damage. Uh, we get a break on the head. Head is. I was going to say almost broke, but it's, it's really not. And second chord is this. We get two, and we get an elemental. And then we'll be able to move one away. Which we can't really do unless we want to get that. Which gives the, f the flame attack plus two attack. So yeah, we're just not going to move. Um. So... Put these four. <sighs> One damage for three cards. And another break. We're going to faint. We're going to keep that faint just for prep purposes. That goes away. Draw four. That's not a very good hand. And we get a time card. Roll a dice. Well, it, is, it can be poisoned. So that's something. I did pet the poogie, right? I did pet the poogie. We get a poison prepped. Not that it we're very likely to get it, but it it, it, it could be it could happen. So next, targeting the closest, which is the dual blades. I think he actually would have moved. He would have moved one here. So targeting the closest. Uh, I am still in range. Poopy. Um, so it's 9 damage. No, it's 10 damage. 10. 9, 8, 7, 6. I would be down to 2. I can probably take it. Okay, then it moves 3 away. 1, 2, 3. Okay, next is targeting the furthest. Perfect. And two hunters get three cards. And again, it couldn't be anybody? No. It can't be anybody. Dual Blades took it last. So we're going to let the Charge Blade go first. He is too far away to get a stunner. One. Unless he can have two. I mean, we, it's, the only movements we have are the stuns. That's stupid. Let's move in for one. Move up again for one. Yep, I can't. I don't want to have a stun cord face down on my board. I, I think that's just going to make us lose. So that's going to be your turn. That gets discarded. We'll discard both of these because they're kind of dead in my hand. Okay, and we get a time cord. Nothing happens. So second activation has to go the... No, we flip now, so second activation can go to anybody. I can do the stun. 
No, I can't. Yes, I can. I have three cards. Let's do it. I'm going to move in for one. Um, first attack. Charge Rising Slash. This can't be played if you've already played another attack card, which we haven't. So, two cards. Probably one damage. Yep. Second attack card. The Death Slash. Two cards. Probably one damage. Oh, two damage. Nice. And we prep a stun. And last, Crippling Discharge. So that is three attack cards for four damage. Not bad. And this will get discarded. We get two break on the head. We're one shy of breaking the head. And that is it. We get a stun. Let's go. Okay, and time cord. The roar. Watch me roll a six. I mean, four is not good either. Okay. And monster activation targeting the furthest, which is the dual blades. One, two. So the only person it's hitting is the charge blade because the dual blades is too far away. So, and it's got, we got the stun off. This should have been discarded. I did not finish my turn. That gets discarded. I'm discarding everything because, again, cycle through my deck for the stuns. We got another one. And we need to dodge one. Use it with that. Okay. And then it moves three back, which just means it just sits right there. And three hunters get two cores. Dual blades has to go first. One. Um, do this for two more. One, two. I'm going to faint to get clear up my stamina. And I get how many cores? Two. I wish we could stun, but... Whatever. I mean, we can we can break this round, which would stop the supernova, which is probably something we want to do. We're gonna do that for two. Uh two damage. Okay, and we break the head. So we may remove up to four black scale dust tokens. Let's get the ones that are four away. Okay. And that was one core. We get one more if we want to. Uh, we're going to do a round slash just for one damage. And <sighs> hate to see a four go to waste like that, but we can move one back. And next attack is starting the closest. Okay, this gets discarded. We're going to discard this. Because we kind of just want our ice core for the extra damage. We got two of them. That's cool. Okay, and... Uh, that was the first activation. Yeah, that was the first activation. Should I heal myself? I will. So, time court. Nothing happens. Now it can be anybody. Um, I think we're going to let the charge blade go first. You get two cords. We're going to move up for one. This one for one. Move up. Draw three cords. One, two, three. I have no cards left. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Armor four. Four damage. And 
He's going to have to sharpen next turn. So I think we're just going to backstep a little. Or do I take it and brunt the attack? Yeah, he's going to stay up to try to hold the attack. And we're going to get rid of this. This gets discarded and we draw two. Okay, next attack goes the charge blade before the enemy activates. Um, three cards. Although you have the plus one armor. But you have an empty board if you do you could take a potion. I don't know. Whatever. Elemental rent. I can't do that combo. That for one. You hate to see a forward go like that. Second one, two. Okay, one. And we have a stun prepped. He's going to have to sharpen next turn, too. Scored both of those. Draw five. Can we get stuns? We can stun and pre. Ooh. We can double stun next turn. We're also going to move one back. So the. Dual blades take the pressure, I think. This will get discarded. And time court. Roll a die. Discord. Of course, I get double roar. And that's a six. I cannot win this game. I mean, I'm going to play it out, but let's just do the math, shall we? Uh, 64 divided by 15 equals... I will have to do 4 damage a turn. On average, every turn. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, monster activates. Uh, it does not move. So that means they both get hit. Perfect. 8 damage, 5 dodge, and a stun. Okay, 8. Can I dodge this? I actually can. Okay, but can the charge blade dodge it? No. So he has to take it. That's 9... Eight, seven, six, five, four. He takes three damage. He's down to five. He's also stunned, which means choose attack cord and place a face on your stamina board if possible. Okay. And two hunters get two activations. So everybody gets one. Um, and we both need to sharpen. It's targeting the closest again. I mean, there's nothing I can do. We both just have to sharpen. So you go that. That gets discarded. And we draw three cards. I don't really want to take a potion. Because I'm so close to popping off with these rending slices. Which could actually come in handy. And then the charge blade. He's also just going to sharpen. Uh, you have Blast Blight. Actually, because I dodged, I could move. I could have moved over here. So yeah, no Blast Blight for you. Sharpen. Discord that. Um, discord that, just so I can... Are there any stuns left in the deck? There is, so we... We kind of have to shuffle through as fast as we can. Okay, that's that. And a time cord. I didn't do a time cord for the dual blades. So this is for the dual blades. It's a rampage. This is for the charge blade. It heals. Oh, Lord. 
So now monster activation twice. Two to the right, targeting the closest. Yeah, closest. Which is the charge blade. So it orients to you, then moves to the right, which I guess is this way. Right. Okay, and then that's two. That's just whiffs. Fine. And it's a rampage, so we keep on going, targeting the closest, which is charge blade. One. Two. Three. Also, it should have like a whole lot of these things at one. Oh, it's going to supernova next turn. Okay, which is three away. Can we get three away? Can we get four away? I don't think there's any spot three away from this thing. Okay. Going to be like that, is it? Now, then it does the damage. So... Nine damage, six dots. Nine, eight, seven, six. No, ten damage. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four damage. I'm down to one. Okay. That's fine. So we know what it's going to do next turn. It's going to supernova. <sighs> who do I go first? Well, who, to, who can I take the one action with? I have to dodge. You're just dead. Otherwise, I'm dead. Can I... I can dodge with you, but it's annoying. I'm going to have to. So you're already dead. We don't really care about you. We're going to let the dual blades go first. For one. And we'll do this to be one closer. Do this to be two closer. Okay, I guess this will get discarded. This will get discarded. Draw two. And Supernova. So you're just dead. So that goes there, there, there. You're off the. You're going to be back because you're the next activation. Back to eight. We discard two time cores because of the faint. That. And uh, you're dodging. I have to do this. I didn't. I needed this, so I would not have moved up one closer. I needed that to dodge so I could faint. So yeah, that that. Okay, so uh, this is very very bad. However. Uh, charge blade activates. I'm back, baby. Uh, he's going to move in. Three hunters get two cores, so move in for one. Oh, and we move every other, all the tokens. Okay, so he moves in for one. He gets two cards. Yeah, two cards. So first card is Death Slam for one point of damage. We do have a stun now. And second one is the Shield Thrust for one point of damage. And we have a stun prepped. Okay. Then that goes there, discard that, discard that, draw four, and it's fine, and a time cord. 
Discard the top behavior. That's fine when it's stunned. So now everybody flips. Uh, we're gonna let the charge blade go first because that. Use faint to discard these two. Good lord. Then we're gonna move in. How you doing? Man, this has five armor. Whatever, there's not much I can do. Lunging slab, we get three cards. For one damage. Actually, I could have moved into the front. Yeah, I could have moved in the front arc for four. So that was six. So that's actually two points of damage. Perfect. And then rending slice. Which is two and an ice. Let's see what we get. Four damage. Hey, we're on av Well, we're not on average anymore because we got a faint and... Now we have to do like six points of damage a turn. We put this there so we can bring it back to our hand. And... That's that. Now it's the time. This gets discarded. We'll discard you. And we get time cord. Up 200 from each move, one note each. That's whatever. And we get one more activation, I believe. Yeah. Has to be the charge blade. We have a stun prepped, so I don't want to stun. It's targeting the furthest, which right now is the charge blade. I mean, we could try to tank it a little bit. Okay, shield block and forward slash for one whole point of damage. Okay, this gets discarded. Discard everything that's not a stun. You should be there. Get another stun. And time cord. You may discard one attack card from any slot. Yeah, let's get that stun back in there, I think. Then monster activates. Targeting the charge blade, however it is stunned. Four. What's the oryx? Front and right. One. Two. Three, four, yeah, and then the dual blades in the safe arc. At least somebody's safe. And then, uh, eight damage, four dodge. Eight elementals, so eight, seven, six, five, four. Doubled. Three, oh, we completely negate that. Wait, no we don't. Because it's nine because of his behavior. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, we take one point of damage. It's fine. And then one hunter gets four cords. That can be anybody. Uh, we're going to make it the charge blade. Because we can combo this a little bit. So we draw three cards. One, two, three. Can I get to the head? Yes. So four armor. Three damage. That was one cord. Second and third cards are both going to be the rending slides. So that's two and a frost. Three damage. And two and a frost. Four. Three damage. Okay. And. Oh, wait. Four chords. One, two. So I get one more with this. Okay. That's nice. Not that it's going to matter. Six damage. That's a lot. 
Okay, uh, that's it for that. Uh, this will get discarded. You can discard cards from hand. You and you. That's really neat. I oh, if I could have had that last turn, we might have actually. I would have just run out of cards. So it's whatever, really. Oh, and it has to be the first slot, though. Okay, so. Uh, monster time cord. Oh, a first threat pass. That hasn't been a while. It would have been attacking the closest. Would I have wanted to move back with the blades? He would not have had priority. I think we would have just for the Blast Blight reasons. Even though I've been completely forgetting about Blast Blight. Not that it may, may probably going to make any difference. Speaking of which, you should have yours. Okay, so. Monster activates. Tail, targeting the closest, which is the Charge Blade. That should have been wrong. Okay. Blast Sweep. Uh, it still hits the charge blade. For nine. And we lose two armor for this. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five. We're down at two. It's fine. Then we move two left. One, two. And then two hunters get two cords. First one has to be the charge blade. Okay. So this will get discarded. We get two cords. One. <sighs> we have a stun prep, so yeah, let's just do this. I can't do it. These are both combos twos. Okay. That's whatever then. So it's two for one damage and one for one damage. Okay. So this will get discarded. Oh, but two hunters. We can flip. We can flip. Yeah, yeah, we can flip. That's the score one. Okay. That's fine. Time cord. A misread, so that's whatever. Because we're going to stun it right now. So this for one. Yep. And this. This is going to get rid of some of my cords, which I don't want. Oh, here's one I can do without getting rid of a cord. One damage. And stunned. Okay. Then this gets discarded. Discard that. And time cord. Am I getting paralyzed? Probably. That was the two. Yep, I do not get paralyzed. Can this thing even get paralysized? It cannot. Okay, so now it is the monster activation. It is stunned, targeting the dual blades. Three the node. One, two, yeah, it's within three, so you're, you're hit. Four. I mean, we're just dodging this, so it doesn't matter. And when you do I don't think I've been doing this for a while, but when you dodge, you can also move equal to the move node. So we're moving closer because he's about to run away. One. I guess he keeps following. It's so unclear, too. And three hunters get three cards each. And I cannot get closer. So first it's the dual blades. Two, 
Gonna have to move up for one, and we have to sharpen anyway, so it's fine. That, this gets discarded. Discard this and this. Draw three, one, two, three. Okay. And time card. All players pass their tokens. Okay, now we both get an activation. Oh, I haven't been keeping track of the things. Where was it? I don't think it's going to get another thing. I think we're going to run out of time, but... Let's say... There? No, it was there. It was like that. Okay, I think that's right. I think that's right. Okay, so... That was that. We both get an activation. Dual blades, wait. Dual blades still would have to go on here so we can get there next round. So then this one goes here. We can play three cards. Um, first is this for two and a four armor, so one point of damage. And then two more for the frost one, which is two and a frost. For five damage. And two and a frost. For four damage. Okay, that is it. This gets discarded. I guess I'll. I need to get rid of both of these. Okay, and a time card. Your hunter suffers paralysis. Are you kidding me? Score it down to two. Okay, and one more activation going to the charge blade. Who's he attacking? The furthest, which is going to be the charge blade, unless this happens. We have... We don't have a stun prepped. But we can get a stun. Okay, so we're going to move in for one. And then three cards. We can do this. That for that. For one damage. And then we do this. For... I'm comp I can't... Two cards... We stunned. No, we didn't have a stun prepped. So now we have the stun prepped. But now I don't have any things to actually do it with. Okay. Let's just play it out. Um, time court. What happens? This is what this is nothing. Five. Your hunter suffers blast blight. We already had that. So this gets discarded. I could have discarded these two and draw back up to five. Up to five, not five. Okay, and monster activations. Targeting the furthest is the charge blade. Which actually just hits everybody for nine. Four dodge. You can't even dodge this. So it's nine. Eight. Seven. So you're down to one. Can you dodge this for four? Nope. Not. You're just dead. Which means we lose our two time cords and we lose the scenario. Oh my lord. You know, if we didn't get the Sharpen or the 4-attack Roar, I think we might have actually had a chance. However, if Wishes were made out of horses, we'd all be eating steak, so... It is what it is. This went a lot better than I expected it to, and... 
But we'll see what happens next time against the Kushla de Hora and the Nergigante. Probably something similar. Until next time, take care.